So, I haven't vlogged all week because I'm very ill. <laughs> As you can probably hear my voice. And I was sleeping. It's like 11 o'clock and I was sleeping. And then I get a bunch of... Henrik told me he was going to call me on break. So I'm like, okay, he's calling me on break. Because 11 o'clock is the usual break, right? And then... <clears throat> so I'm in the bathroom peeing. He calls me, I answer. We're just like talking, whatever. He's like, yeah, I'm on break. And then all of a sudden, there's like a bang at my door, like boom, 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 boom. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, Henrik, there's somebody at my door. He's like, what? I'm like, there's somebody at my door. And then I like go and peek. And it's freaking Henrik. I was so scared. I thought it was the police. So Henrik came all the way from New Jersey to surprise me. It was so cute. And he brought flowers over there. And he brought my favorite sandwich that I love. And he brought me a Diet Coke because he knows me the best. So, mm -hmm. It's so cute. Flowers and food. Best way to a girl's heart. <laughs> That's all you gotta say. True. Romance, gentlemen. Learn from it. <laughs> okay, so it's like much later in the day. What? It's about th almost four. I'm gonna go meet Caitlin for a 4.30 pedicure. I still feel like shit. <laughs> um, it's 90 degrees. <coughs> <coughs> it's 90 degrees out. My spray tan's like really fading, <laughs> but I want to show you what I'm wearing. This bodysuit is from Boohoo. My shorts are from ASOS from last year. They're a little short, <laughs> um, but they're really cute. So I'm gonna go. I don't know. I got a new dashboard mount. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna hold up. I'm nervous. I don't know. It's wiggling. <laughs> It's like weighted, so it's not supposed to move. But it's kind of moving. <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sick. <sighs> so, Henrik, who I saw, he completely surprised me this morning. How cute is that? I was so scared, though. Because... He like, like I said, he called me and I'm like sitting on the toilet peeing <laughs> and there's like literally like a boom, 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 boom at the door and I'm like, are the fucking police here? Like, what have I done? I had a full work week this week, but I got sick. Like, mm, I started feeling it <clears throat> Tuesday afternoon with like the burning in the back of the nose you know that feeling of like the back of your nose and the tickle at your throat where you're like, yep, I'm getting sick. But I was like praying that it was just um, because I was thirsty or like had a tickle in my throat, but no. So the next day I like uh, was full on like runny nose, throat was really sore. And then on Thursday, I started to feel a little bit better. It was just my nose was stuffy and just kind of stuffy and like ready to blow it. But my throat didn't hurt anymore. And then this morning I woke up and I felt like there was an elephant on my chest. <laughs> so I don't know if this has turned into like a bronchitis situation or what, but I think I need to go to the doctor. <laughs> Hi, doctor. I'm going to go to Starbucks first though and get a, I've been wanting to try the cool lime refresher. Right now is probably not the best time either because I can't really taste, but we'll see. All right, let's see if I can even taste this. <laughs> Looks good. He's kind of minty, does it? Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> it's so good. All right, I'm gonna go in. Kate's right there. So, funny story. So, I had never tried toward leggings. Like, I tried them, I can't say I never tried them. I tried them years and years and years and years ago. And I tried like an Aztec print pair. And because they were always, and I never wore them, but because they were always sent in like, or because you always buy them in like that packaging where they're like folded up, almost like stockings, like, I don't know, like freaked me out. I was like, yeah, they're probably gonna be trash, like whatever. So, I went to Torrid a few weeks ago, the same week that I went on the hotel trip, or we stayed at the hotel, and we went to Torrid, 
and um I tried their I bought a pair of their leggings in a size three I get them home I'm like oh these are great like I love they stay at my ankle like they're supposed to be cropped they stay at my ankle like they're fabulous I love them whatever but they're a little see-through and they're a little tight for a three so I'm like okay like what's going on whatever so then I wear them for like maybe a week or so and I have a hole in the crotch and I'm like what the fuck like they're I know they're not crappy quality so why are they breaking apart whatever so I'm like okay maybe they're just too small maybe I'll get a four which is like weird to me because in the Lane Bryant leggings I wear an 1820 so I'm like or yeah, 1820. So I'm like, what the hell? Like, whatever. And then today, so I order the four. The four comes in and they're way too big on me. Like, sagging in the crotch, sagging in the butt, sagging in the leg, sagging around the ankle. They're just too big, you know? So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, they can't be that big of a size gap bef between the three and the four. And I'm like, all right. So then today, like, they went through the, I kept the ones that had a hole in them just because I was like, let me show them, like, not you guys, but I was like, let me like tell Tor that I don't know why their leggings are such bad quality or whatever, whatever. I'm like, let me just keep that. And literally like a couple of minutes ago, I, I go to put them on again. I know they have a hole, but like, I don't have any other clean leggings and this is what it is. It's just a hole in like the deep crotch. Like no one's going to see it unless I'm spreading my legs, which I'm not planning on spreading my legs with the nail salon. <laughs> so I like go to put them on and I look at the size and I'm like, oh my God, there are two. So they were put in the wrong packaging because I know for a fact the packaging said three. So I'm like, this is why there was such a huge size gap from what I thought was a three to a four because it was actually a two. So <laughs> long story short, I'm gonna go return the two pairs of fours that I bought and try the threes. I just wanna say a quick thank you also to everyone who's been like so supportive of like the whole Hedner situation and just supported in general. Like you guys are some of the most like sweet supportive people ever. So I really appreciate that. Tomorrow I'm getting my eyelashes back, my eyelash extensions. Thank God, I really miss them. I, I was like, like filling them in on my own. Like I bought the stuff off Amazon, I was doing it by myself. And then what was happening was obviously I did, wasn't doing them as well as she, Pam was doing them. And so, like I was kind of damaging my eyelashes because I was just like kind of putting them on top of my eyelid um, and lash line instead of directly onto each individual lash because it was hard. So, I gave my lashes a good few month break. I let them kind of like heal regrow. I was putting castor oil on them and now I feel like they're ready for Pam's eyelash extensions again. So Pam's coming tomorrow at 12 to do them because I'll never do them again by myself. But I love them. Like I know there's this whole big controversy about them. Like I, I guess it, whoa, I almost just got into an accident. Wow. Um, some people have had like negative experiences or like they're allergic to the eye stuff or like they get pink eye or whatever, but no, I've never had a bad experience. They make my morning routine so much easier, like every day, day to day, because I don't have to worry about putting on a strip lash or like putting on four coats of mascara or anything like that, so I love them. Especially this summer, I'm gonna be camp counseling. Um, my mom asked me to help her this summer, so I'm gonna be camp counseling. Um, which means I'll have to be up, I'll have to be up by like, I think we have to be there by 8, so I have to get up by like 6.45, 7. Um, and I'm definitely not going to be wanting to put on strip lashes to go work at a camp every damn day. So, no. So naturally, I'm out of my nail salon. It's 6 o'clock. This is like my color. I love it. It's called, the brand is IBD and the color is mauve over. I literally probably get this color like every other time I get my nails done because I just live for it. It's just such a pretty like nudie mauve. I love it. I'm gonna go pick up Caitlin and then we're gonna go to the mall because our Forever 21 got extended plus sizes. We're about to go into Forever 21 because Kate said they extended their plus size section. So we're gonna go check it out. They did. 
even though I may have accidentally spent over $200 last night on forever21.com. Haul coming soon. <laughs> Good morning. It's 10.15 on Saturday morning. I'm going to pick up Henrik from the train station. He got in like 15 minutes ago <laughs> and I was running a little late because I couldn't get out of bed because I went to bed at like 4 this morning. Um, sorry, Bay. <laughs> And we're gonna go get an oil change. And my camera's on 12%, so. And this thing is so wobbly. Hopefully it's not too loud. Oh shit, there's a cop there. Is this speeding? Probably. We have to go get an oil change at 11. And then, by we, I mean me, Henrik's being sweet by coming with me because I hate getting an oil change. And then, And then I'm gonna get my eyelashes done at one. And then I don't know if I wanna to go to the mall today or tomorrow to return the leggings and get new ones. We'll see what happens with the day. We'll see what time my lashes are done and what time I can pull myself together. Cause it is a Saturday before, um, before Memorial Day. So I'm sure like the malls are gonna be crowded, which also means that there's good deals. So I need to go. I'm wearing one of the shirts I got from Perver 21 yesterday. It's just a literal blush t-shirt, but it's so soft and flowy that I don't know that flow. It's just nice and like loose and drapey. I love it. <laughs> what? No, I don't. I got you one, a gold one. We're going straight there? Yeah. You, got, you vlogging already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he brought donuts. But you thought I, no, I had an hour and a half wait in Grand. They look so skinny. Do I really? Yeah. I just had it too long. All right, thank you, babe. <sighs> Way to my heart. <laughs> That's it. Two times in a row. A1 fatty. What kind did you eat? I got my balsam cream. What's this one? That's the jelly. jelly. This yeah. is maple or chocolate? Yeah, I think it's chocolate. Okay. I didn't have the maple and then and that's the chocolate. chocolate cake, yeah. I want this one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <So good. laughs> I know I got the chocolate, the, the glaze with cream filling in them. Oh my God, I almost You're died. You're giant. But it wasn't like custard, it's like cream, like whipped cream, like their own special thing. Really? Mm-hmm. Bruce Benedict Nissan, welcome Connecticut. <laughs> Getting an oil change. That's pretty much it. I'm saying here. I'm playing Madden. It's a fun time. Out here, trying to get a good pick for the gram. My backyard. <laughs> the light is just better in the shade, though. There we go. I got my eyelashes in yesterday. We're on the way to the Trumbull Mall. What's up, y'all? Yeah? I have to return the leggings. Hopefully they have threes. Allegedly they do. Yeah, Henry called. I called. They probably think I'm like some type of drag queen. I'm like, do you have it in size three or something, whatever? So, like, we just got to the mall. I'm sitting in the car because I can't go in yet. <laughs> have to regroup. But in case you're curious about my lipstick, it's NARS. Cruella. This is from, I definitely didn't pay for this. I definitely got this for free. I think it was one of the birthday gifts. Last, two years ago. <laughs> That's how long I've had it. But it's really pretty. I wasn't planning on trying anything on, but they have a cute shirt there. And then I want to try the jeans shorts because I need something to wear a summer jam. <laughs> so let's see. I can never but wear denim shorts. Because they're literally up my butt. They look good. Just have this to see this. I love them. Like, but she's not gonna wear them. That's inappropriate. Does not happen. Yeah. No, thank you. They're cute though. I said this is always my problem with denim shorts. That first off, these aren't that high rise, so I don't like it. They're pretty low. But my freaking vagina always eats them. You can't really see. But I can always see this nasty camel toe. But the pack's cute. Kind of. <sighs> Why well, never wear denim shorts? Making a 
right. Then I'm ready. I'm gonna left. Then I'm ready. All right. Gabriela, coño. All right, all right, all right, all right. Jesus Christ. I'm so happy. Coño, que tu si jode. Claro que si, me van a matar. You're just gonna kill me. Coño, que tu si jode. Yeah, you do. You do jode. A lot. Jode your balls. Yeah, about them. Go, Susia. This lane ends. Okay, end. Mm -hmm. You think I'm an idiot just gonna drive through the trees? Yeah, I know. It says the person who didn't know her left from her right. Uh -huh. Got him! Henry wants to start a podcast. We should, but I don't know, like, could it has to be more centric to what you want to do, you know, vis-a-vis -vis like, clothing, vis-a-vis, really... -vis, you know. Vis-a-vis, -vis, stop vis -vis, the You know, clothing, makeup, lifestyle. Because I like movies, that's my thing. So, like, I can have, like, Hendrix movie minute, but we, like, I just think us talking about, like, current events or this and that and the other thing. Like, that you want me to a... give my opinion on current events? Why not? I don't think that's anything wrong. People are gonna get offended real quick. So what? We should call that, so it would be the name, The Offense, with Henrik and Gabriella. Mm -hmm. A beach porpoise. No, you don't. What did you say before? I look like a beach pink porpoise. I do. <laughs> My skin is so pink. No, it's not. You look great. I need a spray tan stat. No, it's called the sun. It's called skin cancer, honey. It's called skin cancer. We walk in the sun all day. The sun's going on. <laughs> So we had a lovely, lazy Monday. Oh, it's, it totally feels like Sunday. It does. I was gonna say lazy Sunday, but I realized that it isn't. So it's a beautiful, lazy Monday. I'm wearing the same shirt because we literally are running to the grocery store within like, be back in like 10 minutes. Did nothing all day but watch Housewives of Atlanta. Housewives of Atlanta is my shit. And I'm embarrassed for my manhood. Yesterday when we went to Torrid, I ended up switching up the leggings, which I told you guys. And I have the threes on right now and they still feel loose. So, like, fuck me. I can't win. Because look, look at this. I don't like that there's extra fat brick here. See, look. Yeah, I gotcha. It's too baggy. Like, it's supposed to be sucking me in, not fucking. But the twos are literally splitting at the seams, so. You gotta I'm find that Goldilocks do. pair, that's right. Did I sell a two and a half? <laughs> no. Fuck me. I bought two pairs, too. You're getting flaca, you're getting skinny. Nobody's getting skinny. Yes, you are. Bitch where? Bitch everywhere. Not fam. What? Beso. Let's go. As you can see, we Sorry, cannot resist one, the hill on top. This one, this one, that one. Where's the Omer raisin? The Omer raisin is really Obia good. Oh, cookies right here. It's so good. That one, I haven't tried this one, but I have it at home. That's pretty good. Didn't try that, and that's good. You guys have to try hill on top. Do you want a vanilla one? No, I'm good. Maybe I do. You guys need to tell me which is the real one. Okay. Skiff or Jiffy? Skippy or Jiff? Okay? That's why Gabrielle and I are meant to be together. We are Skippy fans. You're so ridiculous. So, you gotta let me know. It's okay. Skippy or Jiff? I need to know this. Right, babe? Skippy all the way. For life, son. Skippy for life. <laughs>